This is Metal. I have no idea if I'm saying that right, but it's one of four ingredients that make up the developer D76. Look, I ain't no scientist, but uh, I know if I put these four chemicals together in that order, I'll get some D76. Hopefully. I'm not entirely sure. But um, yeah, we have Metal. We have sulfur, sulfur sulfite. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Hydro quinidine. I have no idea. And I think this one's borax. Yeah, borax. Before we get into it, first things first, I have all my ingredients, my ingredients, my chemicals laid out or weighed out. I did wear a mask when I was working with the raw chemicals. I'm not going to be wearing a mask for this portion of the video because I need to speak to you guys. Now, do as I say, not as I do. Wear a mask when you do this, if you do this. Now, if you do this, this is not a tutorial. It's just how I'm doing it. You need to do your own research, come to your own conclusions, and do this yourself. Not that it's that uh, dangerous, but look, I ain't a scientist. I don't really know what I'm doing. So uh, yeah, I'm just winging it really, hoping for the best. Hoping for the best. Whoa, that's kind of trippy. Anyways, before we start, well, actually, we're gonna start. Distilled water, the chemicals, stir stick, 1,000 milliliter graduated cylinder. We need to do two grams of metal, 100 grams of sodium sulfite, five grams of the hydro thing, and two grams of the borax. We start with 750 milliliters of distilled water at 52 degrees. I'm gonna go get that, I'll be right back. This is the warm distilled water. I have another bottle of distilled water here because you need to add cold water to make up to a thousand milliliters. Ooh, it's gonna move quickly just because, I don't know. I'm going to add, I'm just gonna talk as I do this, all right? We're gonna go 750 milliliters distilled water at 52 degrees Celsius. I don't know what the heck that is in uh, Fahrenheit. Sorry guys. Alrighty, Roo. That's about 750. It says, add in this order. So I'm gonna start with the metal, the two grams of metal. Here it is. Very small, very, very small. Just gonna stir it up. But, uh, I think that's good. Looks good to me. Then we're gonna go with a hundred grams of sodium sulfite. Yeah, sodium sulfite. That's heavy. Doesn't look like a lot, but hundred grams is quite a bit. Again, please wear a mask if you decide to do this yourself. I wore a mask when I was measuring the chemicals out. And, or weighing them out, I mean. I'm sorry my hand shouldn't be there because then that camera can't see. All right, that, oh, there's a lot there. I'm not sure what's gonna happen to the, the entire developer. Like, I don't know what the overall color will be. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. After I make this, I'm gonna dilute this to one to one, 500 milliliters one to one, so 250 distilled water, 250 of the working batch of developer that we're mixing right now. All right, I think that's pretty much dissolved. I'm sorry for the dinging. I'm sorry, it's hard. It's hard, it's hard not to. All right. Next, we're going with five grams of the hydro quinone. Quin I, I don't know, you guys. Boom. Whoa. That looks kind of cool. Sorry, I'm, trying, I'm getting better at the circles. I'm getting better. It's hard. It's hard. All right, I think that's good. We're getting there, we're getting there. All right, last one is two grams of borax. Borax. All right, 
let that stop moving before I add the room temperature. It says you need to add cold water to make a thousand milliliters. I'm using room temperature. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna add the cold water. friends we have some d76 some homemade d76 dill's d76 dill's developer who knows if this will even work but uh it was fun it was fun to gather all the stuff and play a scientist or a chemist to be more specific all right that looks nice and clear crazy I've had a developer from them that's like yellow so that's interesting to me okay I'm gonna add it to this bottle usually I would do an accordion bottle it has some water in it I'm just gonna dump it in there for now usually I use like a black accordion bottle something like uh, uh, like that but uh, I don't have any clean ones and I didn't want to buy one so using this Here we go. <laughs> I feel like a moonshiner. Except, like, a modern one that, you know, is nice. Understanding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was random, I'm sorry. Anyways, here we go. Look at it. Cool. I have... Actually, I don't have. I have to get my water bath stuff going and a bunch of things going um, in order to develop my film. I have to get a water bath going. I have to get some... Uh, this has to come down from temperature too. I need this at 20 degrees. This is at 52. So I'm probably gonna let that happen naturally. Um, yeah. So, uh, I'll see ya when I see ya. Which will be, that's not where the door closes. The door closes over here. So uh, see you soon. Success. I mean, sort of. I mean, it did what it needed to do. It developed the film. Um, it's a little intense. I think it's a little strong. We'll see. I'll have to adjust that next time. Um, and then user error with my RB and all of my non-working backs. Missed half a roll. So uh, I'll let you guys look at these four photos and I'm going to go develop some more. Bye.
It worked. It definitely worked. Um, granted, the photos aren't great, but uh, user error. <laughs> no, I mean, for the 35, I was mostly just messing around with the flash, kind of testing the limits and seeing what it could do. I think I found them, obviously. Um, yeah, they're all right. There's nothing exciting. Nothing to write home about, as they say. Um, with the 120 on the RB, again, just messing around. I have three backs for the RB, three of these things, and uh, none of them work properly. So, I don't know. <laughs> like, there's half a roll that's just, I don't even know what I did. I have no idea. I think it just wasn't advancing properly. Because this is... Yeah, like at some point it just stopped. I don't know, whatever. Whatever, we'll have to figure that one out. Um, oh yeah, sorry, these two rolls of 35 are from, or for the next video. So uh, stay tuned for that. I have mostly all the footage shot for that, so it shouldn't be too long. It shouldn't be too long at all. I'm gonna scan these later today and get started on that as soon as I get this uploaded. Um. Yeah, it worked. I don't know if I would change anything different. I think the one thing I would love is a more accurate scale. I have like a very consumer grade, like $50 scale. That is, uh, it's fairly accurate, but when you're dealing with grams, you want something incredibly accurate. So I think that's what I would change. Um, yeah, I don't know. This was a fun video. Let me know what you thought. I'm going to continue to make a strong push into content creation. I really enjoy doing this and uh, I'm having a lot of fun. I, uh, <laughs> I wish you guys could see the chaos that is around me because my apartment is an absolute mess right now, but uh, that's fine. That is fine. Anyways, thank you. Love you. And uh, bye. Yeah, I think that's all I got. Bye.